we decided to go to urban air to demonstrate real-world applications of centripetal force. Centripetal force is circle force, and the formula is Fc equals mv squared over r. As a person makes a right turn on a zip line, their body seems to be thrown towards the left. A force that seems to push an object to the outside of a circle is called the centrifugal force. Despite this force having a name, there really is no such thing. Your body is actually trying to move in a straight line as outside forces act to turn you in a circle. The edges of the rails of the zip line provide a normal force that allowed the person riding the zip line to move in a circle. We were able to find my acceleration as I rode around on a gymnastic ring. We measured the length of the rope to be 8 feet, which is about 2.438 meters. We estimated the radius of my circular movement to be about 1.5 feet, or 0.457 meters. We also calculated that my weight is about 800.141 newtons. Using a stopwatch, we found that the period of my circular movement is about 3.10 seconds. From just this amount of information, we were able to calculate my acceleration, my velocity, and the tension in the rope. As a person performs a flip in midair, their body undergoes a circular motion. We were able to calculate the angular speed of both our bodies as we both attempted to do a flip. Brandon was able to complete a full flip in about 0.62 seconds, and I was able to rotate 180 degrees in about 0.54 seconds. Using the formula F equals 1 over period, Brandon's angular speed in terms of frequency is 1.613 revolutions per second, and my angular speed in terms of frequency is 0.926 revolutions per second. At Urban Air, we got to see what centrifugal force looks like on a zipline, how centripetal force works on a gymnastic ring, and how quickly a person rotates as he or she does a flip. Discovering applications of physics in a real-world environment was very entertaining.